In this video, I am going to go over six free apps that you can use for journaling. And I get that you may like the feel of writing in a physical journal. And depending on where or how often you do it, that could be ideal for you. In my case, I'm out and about quite often like I am now. And prim I primarily journal on insights and reflections that come super, super randomly. So carrying these is not exactly convenient. I really don't carry these around, but this is my pile and it's not consolidated, consolidated at all. So in my case, I do think it's best that I use a journal app so I have access to it wherever and whenever I need it. So I browsed a few apps and I did choose one. I do get there could be a concern with the security of having an app and putting private information on there. So depending on what you use journaling for, it could be an idea to maybe even use both. Use a physical one for your more intimate information and a journal app for other stuff. So the six apps I decided to go through, and I know there's a ton out there, but I just wanted to narrow it down to six. Otherwise, it would take way too long. So I chose Perspective, Day One, Reflectly, Diary, Dailyo, and another diary. So let's start with perspective. Once you get in there, you'll see a bigger picture of a timeline. I mean, that from the year you were born. When you click on the icon on the top left with the three lines, you'll see interests, insights, discover, about, etc. So let's click on interests. And this is where you can add, well, your interests. So for me, I have walking outside, working out, meditating, reading. This will come into play when you are going to submit a daily entry. Um, obviously, you can add more. Let's just see. I'll add laughing. Done. So let's go back. Click it again. Insights. I have not seen anything here since I created an account. Um, but essentially, insights are thoughts you have about days in the past. Maybe you need to have a premium account to see this. Um, discover. This is where they pretty much send you tidbits. Um, so quote of the day, perspectives, for example, this quote of the day I really like. It is anybody who tells you that he has some way of leading you to spiritual enlightenment is like somebody who picks your pocket and sells you your own watch. Love that quote. So this is the area where they'll, they'll send you some tidbits. Um, this is another thing called perspective. Essentially, it's like little short stories um, that'll help with your perspective. If you click on new stuff on the bottom right of that screen, this is basically their way of figuring out which feature they should add to the app. From journal bullets to the search feature, custom colors, uh, platforms, filters, etc. And this is pretty much how you support the developers. For me, I voted on the journal bullets. Let's just go to custom colors, see if I wanted to vote for that. For instance, you'll see the support level, $1.99, $4.99, $9.99. Um, if you just want to vote, then click on the star. On the top right to the left of the plus sign, it's essentially just a different way of looking at the timeline for example let's click that so here it brings it to the daily view you can click it again and it'll go back to the bigger view so if you click on the plus sign this is where you submit your daily entries you can write text here you can click on a happy face neutral face unhappy face for example let's just put a happy face if you click on the heart on the top center, this is where you put which interest you did for that day. And it is a good thing to, and I find it it's a good reminder that you should spend time on the things that make you happy, as they say. So, for example, laughing. Did I do it? No. Nope. Yes. Walking outside. No. Nope. Yes. So let's just put yes. Meditating. Yes. And I'm going to click done at the bottom. And there it is submitted. Um, here on the bottom left where 
they have the question mark. They also have a prompt. What are you most grateful for today? Let's just say waking up. Submit. And there you see it. And if you just want to put any kind of text, test, submit, then it's right there. So that's how you do the daily submissions. And if you click on that month where you see the blue light blinking, all right, so you click November, click on the day, and then another way to view your entry. So now we are going to check out Dailyo. So when I click in, it immediately takes you to all the entries that you have put in. So let's do an entry for today. Click today. Now this app focuses a lot on emojis and icons. You can put text, but that's not so much where their focus is. And when you actually sign up, you'll, you'll answer a lot of questions so you can customize it. Okay, today. Let's go with meh. What did I do today? So all these icons underneath hobbies, food, health, better me. This is what I prioritize when I set it up in the beginning. So you can change these around. Hobbies. What did I do so far today? Let us see. Let's do relax. Food. Let's do eat healthy. Let's do exercise meditation and add note this is where you put your text and save and it's up there at the top now stats this is essentially the overview of your activities you can create a goal you can choose from existing activities or create a new one. Calendar view, when you clicked on calendar on the bottom, it'll just give you an, a general picture of the month. If you click more on the bottom right, you can. this is where you can change your icon. So let's, for example, edit moves, moods, you click emoji um, obviously a lot of these are if you are a premium subscriber edit activities this is where you can add activities under each category actually let's go back there add activity let's just do an example so under you can change the group better me let's just say learn something new next save so that's there you can change your colors and those are the main ones uh, let me just check this out all right so the annual is $29.99 monthly is $3.99 I didn't click start the free trial when I first got in so for what you get for free it's decent you can get your daily entries in and get some of the stats so that is dailyo next up let's go to reflectly reflectly so as soon as I open it it's gonna bring me to my overall I guess entries I only did one so oh they can't release the stats unless I do two more days of journaling so let's do one right now let's do a mood check-in this is a slider from really bad to really great so let's just go completely okay continue so similar to the other one this does have a lot of icons so what's making your afternoon completely okay? Let us go hobbies. Let's do sleep, music, leave it at that. Continue and how are you feeling about this? Let's go with blessed. 
so that is submitted now you can add a title let's just say hmm sunny day since that's what I'm looking at at the moment add some notes test test and complete check-in so that was a submission and it will show once we click here again so it's, this one's a really simple one and I do like the layout of it to the right of the plus sign it's you get a lot of quotes so let's check out you've got to dance like there's nobody watching love like you'll never be hurt sing like there's nobody listening and live like it's heaven on earth so if you click on the bottom left where it says general it seems like you can add different themes to the quotes and a lot of them are locked for premium but considering that there's quite a few that you can do without being a premium that is pretty decent to me let's click handling stress um, funny so when I click the category funny for the quotes basically you're just gonna look at funny quotes if you click on the bottom right where you see where your overall settings would be you can enable reminders here all right diary this app is a minimalistic journal app so at the bottom if you click on 11 that would be the month click on the year and then you can click on um, the middle part do your entry test test click the check mark and it's in on the bottom right with the three lines this is where you can set your settings the reminder night mode font size format font you can activate face ID for security and that's pretty much it to this app this is super super simple if you just want a basic basic layout of a journal app okay I am going to go into day one I have to say this is probably my favorite one because of what they offer without being a premium subscriber so when you get in it'll give you an overview of your daily entries okay so at the top you'll see photo that if you click that that'll access your photo library you click audio you can't unless you are a premium subscriber if you click text that'll be a quick way to just submit something for the day test test yay yay done cool okay so back down at the bottom next to timeline you'll see media click that then it'll show all of the submissions you have for photos for video etc we're gonna go to plus new this is where it gets super cool so they have what's called templates so this is actually a really good feature if you want to do bullet journaling um, and you want to have more of a variety of what to add for example I'm going to click on templates here are the templates that I added to mine which is a daily gratitude daily self decisions daily stand up idea you can edit templates and these are all the ones that you can add you can add meals so let's just do an example I'm gonna go to daily self create entry and these are the prompts where I've been my mood is people I saw a couple accomplishments food I ate oops let's go back to templates let's do daily gratitude which I think is a super super important feature for journals today I'm grateful for breathing and then that'll go into your you'll see it in the timeline right there okay towards the bottom you'll see the features you can add text you can add um, 
you can get access to your photo library. So they, there's a number of options that you have here. I'm going to go back to templates. Let's do decisions, for example. So if you're pondering a decision, what's the decision? The results will lead to why, how I feel about it, next steps. So these prompts would be really good for uh, being self-aware on what you're choosing at the moment with what's happening. What you'll also see here is the daily prompt. Do you know anyone in the military? You can answer that if you want. It'll just go into your timeline. Uh, you want to show more templates. Let's go to idea. So if you get any insights on the go, this I see would be extremely useful because then you can just jot it down here. So you can just play around with what templates you'd want to add based on your preferences. Um, you have the five minute journal, five minute AM, five minute PM. Let's just click on meals. Okay, I guess you're just gonna log your breakfast, lunch, dinner. This is a daily stand-up. What did you do yesterday? What will you do today? Anything blocking your progress? Anything on your mind that we should know about? This one would be really good for reflections. We'll just add that. So once you pick the templates that you want, then you're going to see them in a bird's eye view here. That's why I like this app, because of the variety it gives you. If you click on calendar um, from the bottom right, you'll just get a bird's eye monthly calendar view. And you'll see which days you created an entry. So let's go to the top right. Let's go to settings. In settings, you could also create multiple journals but you would need a premium account for that. But in my view, one journal would be more than enough. What I also find cool is you can browse and attach files to an entry. If you click browse, then it'll connect to your iCloud drive if that's what you have on your phone or wherever it is that you store documents and you can attach it to an entry. So in a nutshell, day one to me is like the insight timer of meditation apps. They just offer a lot for being a basic subscriber. So that's, that's definitely something that I recommend checking out. Lastly, let's check out the diary app, the pink one with the feather. So this one's a very simple one, pretty layout. You can scroll by months here and you'll see towards the center screen, the settings, you can manage your moods, you can change your font, your color style, you set up your password. In the feather here in the middle, if you click that, that'll take you directly into uh, submitting an entry. So for example, let's just do a quick one, add diary note, test, ding, save, that's where it goes. You can add in photo, make sure to press save on the bottom right. And there it goes on your timeline. Speaking of timeline, to the left of the feather, if you click that, this is where you'll see all your entry. You could also view it in calendar mode, which is the view that I prefer. And that's pretty much it, a simple way to submit your entries on this app. So the main reason why I went with day one is because of the templates, because I'm not the journal writer that goes linear. So I don't write Monday, this is what happened, Tuesday, this is what happened. I usually journal for my insights, my gratitudes, um, things to reflect on like self prompts. So day one's templates is ideal for me. So that's what I went with. Let me know which app you use, if you do use a journal app, also, please do like and subscribe to my channel if emotional well-being is your jam.